No doubt, no doubt. I want to ask you about uh, Nipsey. I seen a few pictures of you with Nipsey. Um, I want to ask you, how was your relationship with Nipsey? If you had any, or did you just know him in passing? And how you felt about that situation? Man, I've been knowing, man. I've been knowing Nipsey for a while, man. It's ah, ah, Nipsey, man. Nah, it's so funny. Speaking of Nipsey, man, the first time. Um, I ever even heard about Nipsey was from Lauren London, man. It was the funniest. We was in Atlanta shooting. She was shooting something different, the game, and I was shooting something else. And I will never forget. I always tell her this story. I went to her hotel to help her go over some lines. And in the midst of us going over the line, she was like playing some music. She was like, Jackie, you know Nipsey Hustle? I said, nah, who, who, Nip? who is that? He's like, he from, he from L.A. I was like, nah, what he, what he, what he? And she's like, he a rapper. Blah, blah. She said, oh, I want him so bad. I want him so bad. I'm like, let me see it, nigga. So she showed me Nipsey all in his tank top, all skinny. And so I said, look at that, I said, okay. She like, I said, well, why don't you go get it then? Literally, I don't know how many, if a year passed or some months after the game. I don't know if it was recently. I don't know. Whatever it was, all I know is Lauren London. Was with Nipsey Hussle. Yeah, <laughs> all I know. And I said, sis got what she wanted. She said she was going to get it. And honestly, it was the most coolest thing. But I did meet Nip through uh, Lauren. No, I met um, Nip. It was kind of through, uh, you know, Deshaun Jackson. Hell Eagles. yeah. Mm -hmm. I met, I met, I met, me and Deshaun is real cool. So, Oh. I met him. Him and him and Nipsey. Nipsey was real, real cool. So I've been knowing the, the Sean Jackson for shit damn near since he got in the draft and before. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know, one of my close friends, Smitty, is real close with him. So you know what I'm saying? That's how me and DJ connected, and me and DJ connected real, real fast, and, and we was like the best of friends. So it's like he always Nipsey would always be around D Jack around and just everything, you know. He knew some of my friends that did the Kush, the Kush boys, and some of my friends from uh Pasadena, active in LA dude. So it was like so many people that knew him that I was attached to, but D Jack was the one that I always was around. You know what I'm saying? So Nip will always be there. And then it was just funny because the time when I knew he wasn't with Lauren yet. But I seen Lauren maybe first and knew she was with him. But then when I seen him and he was like, let me know, yeah, I'm with Pug, Jack. You know what I'm saying? And all that type of stuff. It was just funny because I ain't never, I remember they used to say hood so much. I didn't know what hood was at first. They say hood with everything. I was like, hood, hood, hood. I started saying hood, what hood? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? What? <laughs> I didn't know, but until I knew, but Nip, Nip used to always just have me laughing because it's say like hood until I found out what it, what it meant and what it was. But Nick was a real cool dude, man. He was always just a intellectual dude, always just telling you some some knowledge when you seen him. It was never just like no no bullshit. And if he respected you who you was, he gave you that respect. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people these some people that 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 like you and and, and mess with you, but they really don't give you your respect. You know, he was a dude. He didn't care if you was big, small, not even on the map. He would show you your respect. You know what I'm saying? He was one of them dudes you respect. If you respect me, I'm going to respect you back. Or if you seem like a dude that I know that that's a respectful dude, I'm going to fuck with you. And Nip was always just a cool dude, man, just to be around, even when I worked with him in the videos. And um, it, was, it was just a great, great dude, man, to learn from and just watch. I like, what I loved about him uh, a lot, how he always carried himself, you know, yeah. whether if it was in his gang, gang, gang attire or his business attire. It was always, it was his style. He had his own moves. He had his own ways. He had his own team and everybody was doing good. His brother Black Sound was amazing to just keep them all together like that. Mm -hmm. It just, it, it was amazing, man. I'm glad that he started something, you know, with this marathon continue because it's definitely a motivational uh, uh, thing, man, for us all. You know, I like live that on to this day. It's like, I got to keep this shit going just for myself. You know, it's the marathon. I mean, I got to keep this shit going. You know, and that and that that right there is just a true statement. I'm glad you know that he left us to, to with that. You know, so great dude, man. Amazing, amazing dude, man. Hey, 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 that he's gone. 
Well said. Um, to kind of transition into another legendary rapper and kind of give him flowers while they're still here, because that's a lot of the criticism we get. We don't give our legends the flowers while they're here, man. I'm going to talk about Outkast, Big Boy, Andre 3K. Now, you worked with them in Idlewild back in, I think, 07. You played Monk. And then again in ATL, you reminded me of that. I was like, oh, shit, he hit play with Big Boy twice. Was there a special bond between you and Outkast? How did that relationship go? How is that relationship now? Uh, Brian Barber, man. And just the first time being around Brian Barber was a director. I'm just, you know, I don't know if people would just know. <clears throat> okay, we lost you for a minute. We can't hear you if you are. Uh... Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we're frozen. Like you froze, yeah. We're frozen? Can you hear me now? We're frozen, yeah. I don't nah, think you can hear us. Y'all frozen, we good. Me. All right, man. Y'all can hear me? Yeah, oh, that yeah, was good. Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of people that know me, man, I'm a just a real laid back, cool guy. When I first met um, uh, Outcast, they was always just the realest dudes, man. They very humble, uh, uh, AT aliens, man. Like they say, man, they is the most coolest dudes. Just like God, man. They cool. All Atlanta dudes is always just cool, and uh, I was always just a real dude around them. I be rapping around them. Just, you know, just being funny, being who I am. And them dudes, everything I've done, I did a video with them. I can't even remember the name of the video, but that was all because I was real close with Andre 3000 and Big Boy and Sleepy Brown. All of them. Like, I call them dudes back back, back then all the time. They talk to me. Me and Andre 3000 used to have this thing. Used to be going around, sit, said, nigga, yeah. Nigga, yeah. Nigga. <laughs> and he used to be like, nigga, yeah, when I come up. And it was just like a lot of things, like me and Big boy, every time he used to come or come to LA, he always come like Jack. What you doing? I come uh, see or support whatever he was doing out here, whether if it was a show or anything. Him and Sleepy, and to this day, we still you know text each other and call. I haven't talked to Andre in I don't know how long, but I guess the bond for me just working with them and being around Brian, they always was just some tight tight dudes that was like, man, I fuck with Jackie and I fuck with them, and they just you know they legends, man. They diamond. Come on, dude. To be around somebody like that and just they, I just you know Andre three thousand. He was just had the, the 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 weirdest weirdest swag ever that everybody loved. You know what I'm saying? I'm like that's a cold motherfucker right there. That nigga swag out. You Word. know? Okay. It was just it was just cool to see. You know what I'm saying? So being around great people like that all my life, man. I just thank God for giving me the opportunities. You know, just to even work with legends like that and have it on film to this day. So when I'm dead and gone, it's still here. <laughs> Word up, Bob. You want uh 50 cent cool now? Uh oh, man. I call 50 cent right now. <laughs> and I'm safe. <laughs> my cool with 50. That's, that's my up. dog, man. That's what's up. That's my dog. I mean, me and 50, y'all wouldn't believe me. Me and 50 talk all the time, man, about real stuff and a, but which is a lot of business. And you know, I was supposed to do a, uh his TV show for life, but I was shooting my TV show and uh the show I do on BT. And um, I was shooting this movie at the time when he called me again. So, you know, I missed out so far on the uh, project. But now we got BMF coming up and a whole bunch of other stuff. Right. You know, I don't want to say nothing. And then I'm in this and I'm in that. But mm -hmm. y'all definitely going to see me in a, in a 50 Cent project. That's my dog at the end of the day. Damn. I love that dude. Lost him again. He's yeah. <laughs> man. Huh? These connections. Yeah, but we're here with uh, Jackie Long, man. Um, legendary actor in the building, man. Um, great interview thus far, Sam, man. As soon as he comes back in, we'll resume. I think you, you can hear us now? I can hear y'all. All, All right, right, cool. We lost you for a second. Uh, yeah, so talk what about you talk about um, some of the some upcoming roles you got going on. Slightly. Yeah, yeah, with 50 Cent. Yeah, I think, you know, me and 50 just, we got a lot of things that, he, he, he has a lot of projects that he's definitely going to put me in. And I don't want to say which ones because I don't want to mess up the surprise or whatever. But right. me, and, me and 50 definitely will be working together. Y'all will see. I just don't want to tell y'all when. And don't Right now, we don't know. Nobody know when they're working anyway. You know, yeah. it's the right. coronavirus. But at the end of the day, that's my dog. I'm so proud of him. You know, he went from star breaking uh, uh, cable numbers. Now he had ABC with For Life. Breaking a, a uh, I mean, what I say, he's at stars breaking up now. Yeah, ABC breaking up. So, yeah, it's like at the end of the day, the man is doing a lot of positive things, man. That a lot of people, you know, should have took advantage of and, and did the same thing. But, but 50 Cent is doing some stuff that I never see. Like, a lot, I see a lot of producers that was in the game that's known to do that. But as far as a rapper mm -hmm. doing the stuff that he's doing, it's like 
if Tupac and Biggie was here, I would want them to do the shit that he's doing. Right. <laughs> you know, it, it's just crazy. Like I give all the, the the rappers who you know in this game and that's doing stuff like like you know that's producing films and all that. You know, Jay Z, Drake. It's a lot more I might miss, but 50, 50 is a close dude to me, and, and he's been doing a lot of good things for film and everything that you can say has been good quality and all legit. Yep. Everybody's a fan of his work, and I'm a fan of his work. Facts. Talk about.